Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a review on two new products from Too Faced. One is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara and that packaging, let alone, is beautiful. And then the next thing is their Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. This is the Cleansing Oil Waterproof Makeup Mascara Dissolver. So as you can see, these are, I don't have any mascara, I haven't curled my lashes, so I wanted you guys to kind of, let me see if I can zoom you in. So these are the, my eyelashes currently, they are not curled, I do plan on curling this eyelash and then not curling this one so you guys can see the difference for the mascara. So yep, these are my lashes. So. I first want to go off and tell you guys, talk about the packaging a little bit. It is similar to how heavy and the look as the regular Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. However, this one is kind of like a tealy blue and it has some like water droplets on it that makes it super beautiful. This is the reason why I purchased this in the first place. I love the regular Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and then with the water droplets it just called my name and made me want it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the brush looks like. Pulling it out, this is the first thing that catches you. It is extremely clumpy. It is similar to the regular, however the clumpiness of it is just something that you really never can get away from. So I'm going to show you guys one trick for this mascara to help it not be as clumpy. It is kind of a waste of product though, but let me first go ahead and curl this left eyelash and show you guys kind of the difference with that. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what the lashes look like. So this is the lashes curled on the left eye and not on the right. You can apply it like this, but like I said, it is a little clumpy. You can kind of drag it. There's like a little fiber hair in there. Um, or you can use a tissue and kind of wipe the excess off and then apply it that way. That way is not always the best. You do lose a little bit of product, but I am going to go ahead. I have my mirror right here. I'm going to apply this to my lashes. But I found that doing, using a tissue is kind of the best way so it's not as clumpy. I would prefer it to not be as clumpy on the wand. I have used this product before and honestly not using the tissue to get the excess off causes it to have problems. But just the first application, I don't know if you guys can see, it's a little clumpy. And you can see that I have little marks on my lashes. It's a little clumpy, you can see like on the ends. So that's one application and it's kind of a hot mess if you can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. And then this is also how much product I wasted. So I'm actually, since I cleaned off the brush for that right eye, now we'll go into this left eye and I will show you guys the first application with the curled. Okay, so as you can tell, it is still a little clumpy. It's kind of got on my eyebrow bone. So that is that. I honestly like wiping it off. You can see way better than not wiping it off. So it does make a big difference. I'm going to go ahead now and do a second coat. And as you can see, it just gets clumpier. It's not an attractive look. This is the finished kind of lashes 
with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So as you can tell with the application, it is a very clumpy, dry formula. I know it has to be a little bit of a more drying formula than their Too Faced Better Than Sex just because it is waterproof. However, this, I have used this a couple times and it is always clumpy, always gets kind of on my eyebrow bone when I use it. So it's not the best mascara in my opinion. Um, it's also throughout the day you will have fallout and a little clumpiness all around your under eye so it's just a pain and a really big disappointment that this mascara was not as good as my hopes was for uh, it. About the waterproof formula of this, I wouldn't say it's waterproof at all. It does kind of smudge a little bit, it does flake, so I would check out better waterproof mascaras in the drugstore or high end. I will try some more going forward, but this was just a big disappointment. So moving on, I'm going to show you guys and review the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. This is their cleansing oil waterproof mascara dissolver that they came out with the same time as their waterproof mascara, which is great. So what this is, it has like a cleansing oil in it. I'll show you guys the brush. It's really just a, like a rubber, it has no like bristles or anything, it's just like a rubber wand that you apply on your lashes with the waterproof mascara. You let it set for about a minute. I typically will like brush my teeth, things like that, while this is on my lashes. Then I'll go in with my eye makeup remover and take it off. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys how to apply and use this. So I'm going to zoom you guys okay. in. I, I know my eyebrows aren't the best, but anyway, let's get into it. So I'm going to apply it just like you would mascara. So that is one coat, and then I'll do the other eye. Okay, so now that the cleansing oil is on my lashes, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. Okay, so it's been about a minute, so now I'm going to go in with my eye makeup remover. Right now I am using my Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. You can get this at like the drugstore or Target, and this is my favorite eye makeup remover. I'm also going to use my cotton rounds. So the product is still on my lashes, so I just put like two little swigs on it. And then we're just going to hold it on your eye. And then it's also going to take away my eye. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in. So as you can see, the mascara has pretty much come off completely compared to that. You can see that it's definitely more of my natural lashes that are coming through. There we go. So now... I will take off this other eye, but as you can see, the cleansing oil, like rubbing my finger, there's no like mascara residue, is honestly just my bare eye. So let's go in and do the other eye. And you don't really need to pull with your lashes, so you could do a nice little light removal Oop, and I got some mascara in my eyeball that flakiness about that mascara it drives me insane. Overall with these two new products from Too Faced I would pass on the Too Faced Better than sex waterproof mascara. This just, I would say the S word, but it stinks. So I just, it's very, it's a high end mascara that is pretty pricey. 
did not do a good job application being on your lashes. It's just a pain in the A, so I would not recommend that. However, I would recommend getting the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. I know you can use like Bioderma or a like different kind of cleanser, eye makeup remover, but I actually found using this with my more waterproof mascaras is better just in the fact that you can paint it on your lashes, let it sit, and then it's easier for when you do use your eye makeup remover. Sometimes when I don't use this, I do find that the mascara is still on my lashes and it tugs and pulls and pulls out some lashes, things I don't like. So I would recommend the mascara melt off, but not the waterproof mascara. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any other products you would like me to review, let me know in the comments down below. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks. Bye.